ITV Player brings you ITV2. Amazing telly you can't miss. It's a good life. Cancun in Mexico. With more than 100 hotels, it's the latest luxury package holiday paradise. And the favourite with the little child family from Essex. When they go on holiday, they like a bit of luxury, a lot of sun and the odd cocktail or two. This is the best way to start the morning. Adumasa is a tiny village in Ghana, West Africa. It's got one church, one school and no hotels. But it's where the Curtis family from Devon spend their holiday time doing missionary work. Coming back to Ghana is just like coming home. The little Charles and the Curtises don't know each other, but they're up for a challenge to convince the other family of the wonders of their favourite holiday. Now, I might be 45, but I love that place. <laughs> Absolutely love it in there. It was appalling. I'm fighting to eat, I'm fighting to drink, I'm fighting to touch anything. It's actually really upsetting. Two very different families. Call this a holiday? To very different locations. To me, it's a hellhole. Holiday showdown. I'm not going to get into it. No way. No, sorry. I'm, I'm leaving. The little child's hail from suburban Essex and are very proud of the fact. Kelly's the mother hen of the family and keeps everyone in check, including her mum Jill who lives just around the corner. Kelly's husband David is a bit of a local personality, thanks to his ice cream van. Son David Jr and his girlfriend Lisa are both studying at Sixthorn College. The little childs are big on holidays. They have at least five a year. Their favourite family jaunt is the all-inclusive resort beach holiday in Cancun, Mexico's liveliest tourist destination. They're about to take the other family on their dream holiday for the first week. <laughs> we just love going away, don't we? It's the thing we look forward to. We come back from one and look for, an, look for the next one. We want the sun, obviously. That's the beach, yeah. cocktails. Got to have good bar staff. They're the first people we make friends with, bar staff. No, they are, really. David Jr. is a typical fashion conscious teenager, and like the rest of the family, he's up for a good time. If you're going on a day, you can't not have a good time. Got to get away from, you know, around here, which isn't the nicest place in the world. So if you go away, you just got to make the most of it and get as drunk as possible. <laughs> <laughs> For the little childs, getting in the mood is an important part of any holiday preparation. <laughs> but on this trip, what they can't prepare for is who they're taking to Mexico, or what they might be like. I reckon the other family would probably be church going, teetotalers. Why do you reckon they're going to be? Churchgoers. <laughs> Churchgoers would not apply for something like this, would they? The Curtis family lives away from it all by the sea in Devon. As a committed Christian, Rosemary Curtis not only leads the congregation at church, she also leads her flock at home, husband Malcolm and their children Emily and Joe. Rosemary heads a church charity that sponsors children in remote villages in Ghana. The Curtis's idea of a perfect holiday is to visit them in Africa. We haven't had a lot of money, so we haven't had other holidays. To give up our annual holiday for that, I, mean, I can't take any other time off. It's not, it's not really giving up because it is, it's such an incredible thing that I would want to go there any chance I had. The first time I came back from a real trip to Ghana, I came back and said, you know, these folk have nothing, and yet they have everything. And we have everything, and yet we have nothing. God is great, God is good, 
and we thank him for our food. We're gonna thank him morning, noon and night. We're gonna thank you, Lord, you're out of sight. Amen. 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 The Curtises will take the little Charles to Ghana in week two. But right now, they've no idea where they're going in the first week, or who they'll be going with. So, what do you reckon this other family is going to be like then? Goodness knows. They're going to be blonde from Essex, then. Essex. It's not very nice. No, well. That's not very nice, sir. Yeah. It's family with a sense of humour. Yeah. And what's the worst they could do to us? Clubbing. Clubbing. I just don't see the point in going on holiday and coming back with nothing, apart from a hangover and maybe a bit of a tan. Emily Curtis is studying photography at a local college, but she's no ordinary student. Just don't drink. I generally don't go out. I'm a bit boring, really. Um, but I do have fun when I go out, just because I can have fun staying sober. People think it's odd, but... I don't care. It's me. Travel day, and the little child are the first to reach the airport. The two families are travelling on the same flight, but will not meet until they arrive in Mexico. I'm apprehensive about meeting the other family. You're not nervous, no, that's the wrong word. Um, only because I don't know them. Once I've not been around them about five minutes, I'll be fine. Well, I think the other family are going to be entirely different to us. Yeah. I bet they don't drink. That really could boring. be. What? It'd be really boring. If they don't drink. <laughs> yeah, I know. If they don't drink. <laughs> At least the little Charles know where they're going. The next few days are just a complete unknown. It's very strange. A very strange feeling. I have to say I don't like it. Sorry. <laughs> Not know where you're going. It's, it's very, very strange. I don't know. Shorts, swim things. It's going to be warm. So it's a bus tour of Dartmoor, I reckon, <laughs> personally. <laughs> what the Curtis family don't realise is that they're only a text message away from Mexico. We're off to sunny Mexico. See you in... Cancun, Arriba. The little child family. The little child family? You're going to Mexico. Well, it beats Dartmoor. It beats Dartmoor. Next, ah! the little Charles get loud and larry in Mexico. Go with it, have a bit of fun. While the Curtis family find their Christian values strained to the limit. Really glad to be out. It was appalling. Cancun Airport, Mexico. The Curtis family have travelled 6,000 miles to join the little Charles on their favourite family holiday. Welcome to Mexico. Thank Please you. Come with us. The little Charles have already arrived and checked in at their favourite hotel, the Cancun Palace. But the Curtis family are still in the dark. We left home yesterday with not a clue where we were going and suddenly here we are in Mexico. It's nice arriving at night because tomorrow morning we'll see what the place is like because at the moment goodness knows what it's like out there. Goodness gracious me. It's late. The families have been travelling for over 20 hours and won't meet until tomorrow. In the meantime, the Curtises discover the delights of their accommodation. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Goodness gracious. This is posh, isn't it? <laughs> is that the sea out there? I don't know. Oh, look at this. It's got its own jacuzzi. Goodness gracious. Look, look at that. Posh. Yes. It's all here, isn't it? All in one place. Yeah. And for a few days it'd probably be lovely. Might get boring for any longer. the following morning and the families are about to meet for the first time. A tropical storm might be keeping everyone under cover, but it certainly doesn't dampen the spirits of the little child family. This is the best way to start the morning. Frozen margarita, beer, Kahlua, vodka and orange and Malibu. 
David's on about his tenth beer. <laughs> hey, hello. 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 You must be the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the little child family. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Hi. 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 Hiya. 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 Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. 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 Jill. Hi. Hi, Malcolm. What do you think of it? It's a bit overwhelming, really, having never been anywhere like this before. You know, you see, oh my goodness, there's so much of it. So do you like it so far? Yeah. Is it different? Yes, yeah, much different to what we usually have. It's mm. <laughs> quite a few people here, though, isn't it? You know, young people. Yeah. Does anyone want to drink? <laughs> 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 Too many of them! <laughs> <laughs> The other family, they seem very in your face. They like to be loud and drink. And to be honest, no, they're not really my kind of people, but you know, I've got to get on with them. I'm not going to say to them, Look, I don't like you. It's not that I don't like them, I just they're a bit loud for me. And it's not going to get much quieter. The Cancun Palace is a non-stop high-energy resort located in the middle of Mexico's top tourist destination. It's all-inclusive, which means that once you're there, you don't have to worry about paying for anything. It's still raining, but the Curtis family make an effort and enter into the Cancun spirit. I thought they would be uh, highbrow, professional people, which they are. Were EastEnders, but that doesn't make no difference. I think they're fun. They're okay. I didn't think we would hit it off, but, but we, we seem to. I think they might be a little bit overwhelmed by the size of the place and the noise. But this is quiet as to how it can get of a night time. <laughs> What the families do this week is decided by the little childs. As it's their holiday, they take charge. Rosemary, if I can just say welcome to Cancun. I don't know if it's what you was expecting or not, but it will be fun, I promise you. <laughs> it's probably been different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've got no rules and I've got no regulations, so everyone just do what you want to do. But just enjoy yourself. And tomorrow we're going to swim with the dolphins and we're going to go to the water park. You like water parks? <laughs> Whatever you do to us, we can get our own. I know. Yeah, we do know that. Yeah, we're working that one out. Yeah. Let's raise our glasses and hopefully have a good holiday this week and next. Cheers. Cheers. All the best. Cheers. Lovely to meet you. Cheers. We're not a big drinking family and, and the little childs are a drinking family. They have not become offensive with it, but I do suspect that they may actually find the fact that we don't a problem. Day two, and the Curtis family are about to get their first taste of the world outside the hotel. Morning, everybody. Morning. Just got to call the register. So okay. Call the register. Can we have a quick count up, make sure we're all here? Four, five, six. Lisa? The families are off to a nature park, an hour away from Cancun. Excaret is a favourite outing for the little childs. It's an ecologically friendly playground. Emily is particularly happy as the highlight of the day is swimming with dolphins. I've never had the chance to swim with dolphins before, so this is a really, really exciting experience for me. It's something that I've always wanted to do since I was a tiny kid. I've never ever seen a dolphin before, so it's quite an experience just to see them. I mean, I've seen the sort of porpoises, the smaller dolphin type creatures, but never seen a dolphin before, and they are such beautiful creatures. Kelly's organised the treat, and for £500, the families get half an hour in the dolphin pool. But for one of the party at least, it's something of a disappointment. Woke up quite excited at the thought of swimming with dolphins and actually getting there and seeing that they were confined to very small areas. It just kind of made it less enjoyable. Yeah, 
you know, I'd rather go out into the wild and see them in their natural habitat than kept in some small exhibit. Emily does get the chance to go out into the wild, but not in the way she's expecting. <laughs> Senor Frogs is a raucous nightclub and a must stop when the little childs are in town. If you come to Mexico, you've got to say you've been to Senor Frogs. And you've, you've got to buy the t-shirt that says you've been to Senor Frogs. It's just a complete madhouse. You'll see when we go in there. <laughs> For the little childs, it's their chance to let it all hang out. If I slur, then I've won one too many, but I'm having a brilliant time. And I might be 45, but I love that place. <laughs> Absolutely love it in there. <laughs> For the Curtis family, it's their idea of hell. The Curtises retire to the terrace to see if the noise is more bearable outside. <laughs> Clearly it's not, and before too long, they decide to leave. Really glad to be out. Truly, when it comes to excessive drinking, foul language, nudity and, and striptease. I really don't want them exposed to it any longer. I really wouldn't want to go in there, if, even if I was on my own, just because of the amount of bad language used. Um, it really wasn't necessary. It was, it was appalling. I knew the Curtis's would leave early, because I knew it weren't their cup of tea after meeting them. But if you're here, just go with it. You know, you're not going to come back again. And it's, it, I know it's crazy in there, but just, Go with it, have a bit of fun. Don't think the other family pretty much enjoyed tonight because they did leave after about 20 minutes. I think they pretty much hated it. They did not look happy when they walked in. So I think they're pretty boring. And they should liven themselves up. This evening was horrendous. Because to be honest, I'm actually at the point where I want to go home now. I say I know, you say As the little child get I wet and wild, I any thoughts of home are far from their minds. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> but as you come down here, you've got no chance. You just lose everything. Really, I've got the wrong thing on to be coming down. <laughs> it ended up right on my backside. <laughs> yeah, if I had lots of money, lots and lots of money, I would love to have one of these in my back garden. <laughs> While some of the Curtis family revel in the rides, Rosemary and Emily are adamant that their feet are staying firmly on dry land. I'm not going. I can't, can't cope with them, don't like them. Emily's the same, we really don't like to be out of control, like to be able to stop. And I want to stop, I'm going to stop. Pajamas, pajamas, give up pajamas, for we know we need each other so we I do feel there's a, a little bit of distance growing between us, but I felt very much today that they were sort of in their little family group and we were left to be in ours. It makes me feel a little apprehensive for the rest of the time that we spend together. It's the final day in Cancun and the families soak up the last of the Mexican sun. I've had an absolutely fabulous time in Cancun. Yeah. And I don't want to go home. I love Cancun, it's a great place to be. So I don't want to leave now. There's no doubt that the Curtises have enjoyed the rest and relaxation. But they do have reservations. It's very self-centred, the whole thing. Um, people are here for self-gratification. It costs in the region of £200 for two people to stay here for just one night. And in Ghana, we could feed and educate one child for three years for that amount of money and actually make an enormous difference 
for the rest of their lives. Maybe even save them from, from, from dying. I'm so happy that I'm leaving Cancun tomorrow. I am really excited about going to Ghana because it's, it's almost a year since I've last, I last went and just to see the kids smiling faces will be enough for me. Um, I'm a bit apprehensive about how certain members of the other family are going to react. I'm just scared that it's going to be really horrible and I'm going to really hate it. And it'll be a horrible week and I'm just going to want to come home. But you never know, we might enjoy it. When I first met the family, I thought, where the hell am I going next week? But I'm actually looking forward to it now. Yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> back in the UK and there's a brief stopover. For both families, the tables are about to turn. <laughs> As they relinquish their power, the nervous little childs wonder just what the Curtis family might have in store for them. Hiya! Are you gonna come in? Bring your cases. Yes you do! Yes you do! No, you've got to come in here. Jill, no. you in there? No! This is you, no. Kelly. You do it? This is you. Oh my god! You <laughs> Emergency don't need response kit. These are all the clues. Impregnated <laughs> mosquitoes. Put your stuff down. This is Curtis Get, get Around Back Week. This is. <laughs> Joe, Joe, you've got no form of expression on his face. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Ghana in West Africa. And the people are. Wonderful. They are lovely, friendly, beautiful people. And we will be made <laughs> extremely welcome. What do we need for during the day then? We shall go to church on Sunday, so you'll need something reasonably respectable for there. Otherwise, it simply is shorts, t-shirts, and some long sleeve things for evenings. Uh, we have all this stuff here, you see, that actually needs to get out there. So we're going to ask you, if you would, to remove anything you're unlikely to need from your suitcases, pack it into bags which will be kept securely here, and pack some of this stuff in your cases. You call this a holiday? It's what we do. Hang on, last time I went to church was the day I got married. That's the last time I went to church. I think it's going to be very hot. Probably too hot for me because I hate hot weather. So I'm probably going to be very agitated and moody. We need, if we can, to get down to about half of what you've got. The hair dryer. We're leaving hair dryers and things behind. Huh? They have to stay. I can't take me comments! <laughs> Mum, there's a hanger, you might want to hang yourself. Will <laughs> <laughs> I be able to wear these, Rosemary? Uh, no, you can safely leave those behind. Out go the bikinis, sarongs and strappy shoes. In go clothes, toys and sweets for the children. Who's throwing things at me? Sure go. Worst of all, though, for the little childs, they've been asked to leave behind their duty frees. It's been a long while since I've been in bed without having a drink. <laughs> and I don't drink tea or coffee, so I don't know what the hell I'm drinking. I've been told there's a local brew that apparently is made from some kind of palm tree, but you've got to be very brave to try it. Or as brave I am. <laughs> Next, the little childs meet Rosemary's 500 other children, struggle to eat the local cuisine, kill for a burger now. and abandon the Curtis family for the sake of a hot shower. I don't want to go home. It's actually really upsetting that they could be that low. After more than two days of travelling, the families arrive in Ghana, West Africa. For the Curtises, it's like coming home. Mama. Yeah. Mama. <laughs> oh. It's good to see you. The little childs, however, have never set foot in Africa before and have no idea what to expect. OK, it's time to get the bags on the bus and we will head up to Kamasi. 
The families have to travel 170 miles by church bus to reach the villages where the Curtises do their charity work. Because of Ghana's poor roads, the journey takes over six hours. It's the little child's first glimpse of Africa. For ten years, the Curtis's church has been raising money to provide food, fresh water and education in some of Africa's poorest villages. Although everyone's exhausted, Rosemary's determined to squeeze in a visit to Adamasa village. Do you guys want to come down and we'll tell you what it's all about? Right, well you thought you knew all about our family, but we just sort of forgot about this lot really. Our family is quite a bit bigger than you think. We've got 350 kids here and another 150 kids in another village up the road. And first came here with a church organisation and we made a commitment then that we would drill a borehole, build a canteen and raise enough sponsors to feed every child in the village a cooked meal every day. It was emotional to know what Rosemary had done for him. You know, she's such a lovely person. And just to see all those kids and how happy they was to see her and, you know, that was just, it was very emotional. You can go and say hello. They don't bite. Come and say hello. When the Curtises are in Ghana, they don't worry about luxury. They stay in church-run accommodation in nearby Kumasi. From the outside, it might look charming, but it certainly doesn't live up to the standards of the Cancun Palace, or Kelly. Dave and Kelly, if you want to be in here. Two beds and a washroom. The bed's nice. Well, yes, we do have electricity. Thank God for that. What is that? No. Well, it's dead now. You're sleeping on that side anyway. Right? There's mozzies in here. It fell in the pillar. Mozzies. The arduous journey is clearly taking its toll on some members of the little child family. Absolutely exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. And we get a shower. Okay. What? No hot water? No. Okay. No. It's all cold. It's all cold. Lovely. That's <laughs> got a bad headache at the moment. Banging. The climax of the trip to Ghana will be Malcolm's crowning as chief of Badassi village. Hey, hello. Rosemary has decided that everyone should wear traditional dress, which means a trip to Kamasi Central Market to choose fabric. Yeah, love to make a shirt. Yeah, yeah. 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 We want this one. Yeah. 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 But already, some of Rosemary's flock are missing. Kelly's taken to her bed with a headache, and David's girlfriend Lisa isn't feeling well either. Lisa's just really tired. She just needs to go to bed. She's not feeling too good. So I thought it'd be better for her just to go to sleep so she's alright for the rest of the days. Pretty much. And I thought I'd stay with her so I can get a bit of sleep as well. <laughs> I think they're good enough excuses. We have been travelling for two and a half days. I've had no sleep and nothing to eat. So I think on this occasion they're excused. I'm a bit annoyed about that. I mean, yes, understandable. We've had a long flight and a long journey up, but they all slept most of the flight and most of the journey up. I don't know what's up with them. I don't know what's going on. They've got to make some kind of effort. It's Sunday, and the little childs are up late, which means they miss breakfast. And make the courtesies late for church. We have to go into the, to the front of the church and be seen by the church. It's very important that we go there this morning. We're late. Well, we should have left almost an hour ago, I think. Morning. <coughs>
So far, so good. But the Curtises aren't content with just going to one church. They go to three. Kelly, the strain is beginning to tell. I don't go to church. You know, one church would have been enough, but to drag me into three churches, you know, I was on the point of screaming, like, I can't do no more church services. I don't feel clean. I was to have a hot shower. But I don't. I like, you know, I like being here amongst the kids. But, you know, at least if you had somewhere proper, you could go back and get cleaned up. And um, but I'm doing as I'm asked, and that's what I said last week I'd do. Oh yeah, there's the twins, one of the twins. At least there's a good lunch to look forward to. The villagers have laid on a banquet, especially for their British guests. The meal that's happening today is very, very special. Um, all the food has been donated by local people in the villages. They have little enough for themselves. Nana's wife, that's the chief's wife, and her daughters have cooked this meal. It's like being treated as royalty, as very special, important guests. This is yam. That's boiled plantain. That's like a banana. That is fish. You haven't got to worry about the safety of the food. All the food is cooked and cooked and cooked. You're not going to pick up anything from eating it. Today, they'd laid on loads of food, which was, considering what they've got, it's amazing what they do. But I don't eat fish, and the main sort of meal was had a fish base, and yams and plantains I've had in the Caribbean, and I don't like them. So, um, I didn't have anything, just water. It's the same, but it's got like stuff like spinach. It's got contombre leaves. Go on, have a... Would you be able to eat the, the plantain? Nothing, no. I'm frightened to eat, I'm frightened to drink, I'm frightened to touch anything because everything's so dirty. And I don't mean that nasty, you know, because uh, the people, they couldn't be no friendlier and those kids are so lovely. But I guess, I don't know, we probably live too clean. I said I'd kill for a burger now. <laughs> <laughs> With cheese and bacon on. Poverty and the dirtiness. Well, they haven't got the facilities. They can't keep themselves. And the smell. I mean, that little boy was so lovely today. He was with me all the time, and I got used to it after a while. But the smell is just so. It's just so bad. It all smells so bad. It is. I think the culture shock, and I guess the easiest way is to say roughing it. And you know, we've we've never had to do it. I feel sorry for all these people, but to me it's a hellhole. The little child's are late for breakfast again, but this time it's not because they've overslept. I don't want to go home. Just had enough. Really had enough. Can't take a face another day here. Yeah. This can't face going up to the village and the dirt and the heat and just everything really. I'm not used to it and I guess I can't get used to it. I just won't go home. Bad enough not being out of have a hot shower but there's no water at all this morning. I can't even begin to think about eating anything in the kitchen because I went in there last night and there's ants running all over the top of the counters where they're cooking and I just had to walk out of there. Mum feels the same as me. I don't care what you say or whatever, this isn't a holiday. This is something Rosemary does for charity. It is not a holiday. Kelly calls together her clan to ask each of them whether they want to continue with the holiday. Lisa, what do you want to do, babe? I want to stay. Because I think it's fair. The other fan did it for us, so... I want to stay for them. Thank you. I'm staying. 
I'm going to stop. Okay. I can't go up no more. So, it's just me and you then. It's down to the little child to tell the Curtis family that Kelly and Jill want to leave their holiday early. Um, Kelly and Jill were finding it very, very difficult. Okay. And we really anything. can't. They've asked to leave. We've right. tried, Rosemary, and me and Mum just can't take it. I, you know, I think what you're doing, Rosemary, is unbelievable. I just, I can't take any more. You know, I would love yeah. to we stay. Just to it's not a problem. Right. I understand. I do. I do, honestly. It's actually really upsetting that they could be that low. That self-absorbed. I think what you're both doing is amazing, absolutely amazing. And I'd love to help yeah. from England. Now, but I saw you kneeling down with the children and I know that you love the kids. Yeah. And I appreciated that. I know the rest of it is extremely difficult. Very. Jill approaches Emily to explain, but Emily's not having any of it. She's just, she's an emotional little thing. It's fine, Jill. It's very, very, very hard. We did everything on your holiday and there were certain things that we really didn't like that went even against my parents' beliefs, but we did them. It's just the fact that they haven't even attempted to try the food. And I know it's not because they don't like it, it's because they think it's filthy and unhygienic. And yesterday, people would have gone without meals because they yep. provided their food. And then not to even attempt to try it. I just don't understand. I just don't understand. No, the one's different. Yeah, I know. You don't know them. Yeah. You don't well, know them. It. After Emily's plain speaking, David decides to go with Kelly and Jill. I don't think I'm going to go there. Why? Right. I, I just spoke to Emily really and nice. she's absolutely disgusted with these two. Yeah, I know. See her face. Yeah. I know that all day long she's going to have that face on and I'm not going to be comfortable. If Emily's been like that and it makes you feel like you don't yeah. want her, then don't you come with well, us. She, just speaking to her has just made me feel like I don't want to do it. Mum is upset um, and probably very hurt because she's done all this work and it's all she does. Thank you, Lord Dad, I think, is much the same as Mum. He will just forgive them because that's who they are. They're forgiving people. What a guy. Have you ever felt like <laughs> I don't know, they're so lovely. So lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Bye, babe. The little child stay behind to pack their bags. Looking the other way. Bye, babe. David Jr. and Lisa join the Curtis family on a tour of the village primary school, while Kelly, David and Jill check into the luxury of a nearby hotel. What a difference a day made. Is going Hours. This is a nice little balcony too. Yeah, it's cool. This is lovely. Hey, hey. Every child in the school has a cooked meal every day. Some of them are so poor that their families just simply can't afford to feed them. This is, this is all they get to eat. This can literally be the difference between life and death. Do they always use their fingers or have they got knife and fork? Because they don't have anything at home, they tend to use their fingers. And at home they wouldn't even have a bowl. I go and I tell people that these children have nothing, but until you see what nothing really is, you can't appreciate. Oh, we've got the fridge. And it's got drinks in it. There's Yeah, there's air conditioning too. No, it's lovely. I can, I can breathe in here and it's, it's clean, it's clean.
your menu What a difference a day made And the difference is you It is amazing and I don't think I'll ever forget it I'm not saying I'm, my, I'm not saying I will come back, but I will never forget my experience here with the kids. Next, exuberant celebrations as Malcolm is crowned a chief. I don't know how many sort of English African chiefs there are. It's probably not a common thing, is it? But the little child's miss out, and emotions run high at the family's final reunion. No, I'm not going to get into it. No way. No, I'm going to go with him. Sorry, you do what you want. We're out of here. It's the highlight of the trip to Ghana, and it's a big day for Malcolm Curtis. In recognition of his work in the village of Badassi, Malcolm is about to be crowned a chief. But some of the group are missing the celebrations. Kelly, David and Jill found it difficult to cope with the basic church accommodation and have moved into a hotel 20 miles away. I would like to have been able to experience all what they're doing. It's just a shame that we couldn't have stayed somewhere like this. I mean, if I could have come back to this, I'd be up in the morning, I'd be refreshed, I'd feel clean, and I'd be ready to go. It really is a shame. Rosemary's already an Ashanti chief of Adumasa village. And Malcolm's crowning is her first official engagement as Queen Nana Sakiwa Tatuo I. It was a great ceremony and totally unique, I mean, not something that very many Europeans have ever had a chance to participate in. Um, it's nice to actually be on the opposite side and not the subject of the ceremony. I don't know how many sort of English African chiefs there are. It's probably not a common thing, is it? Really? It's a shame mum couldn't be here. She probably would have liked to have seen all the dancing and what's going on today. The ceremony was amazing because he was treated, he was treated like a king. You know, he was like, taken around on people's shoulders while they all danced around him, so it was amazing that they treat him like that. I didn't imagine this. It's such a different world to what we live in, so it's quite kind of nice that there is something like this, because it's made me see things differently. The dental technician from Devon has become a king. May God bless you and keep you, and may his face always smile upon you. I love you as I love my own family, and you are my family. Sweet, sweet memories you gave me. It's the last night in Ghana. The memories you gave me. Both families get together for one last supper to discuss the good points and the bad of each other's holiday. It was absolutely fantastic to collapse on a beach and, and rest. Uh, it's not something we do very often, so it was a real treat. Meeting the people, wherever I've been, they are one of the friendliest people I've ever met. The kids are the cutest. Oh, they're lovely, yeah. The dolphins, dolphins definitely. Although it wasn't out in the sea, but it was still fantastic. Yeah. The only point that did make me think was the amount of water that was being used there in the swimming pools and in the jacuzzi and that we were desperately trying to drill boreholes in Ghana. You can't help but compare, you know? For Kelly, resentment about missing Malcolm's crowning is overshadowing her memories of the trip. I just really wanted to be there and we wasn't allowed to be because we left the compound. So we've sat around and done nothing. 
But then you did make that decision yourself mm -hmm. to leave the compound, mm -hmm. and therefore you knew that you wouldn't be able to come yep. back in. We did, but we was also told um, that by your parents that when you first come here, you did, you wanted to you wanted to leave. But we stuck it out. But you didn't have any choice, Emily. You you he was here with your mum, who was here to stay. But, and I, but I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting into it with you at all. No, I'm not going to get into it. No way. No, sorry. I'm I'm leaving. I didn't mean to cause that. I really didn't mean to cause that. But you got very nasty. I came over to speak to you I was before upset. we left. I was and almost you said I wouldn't go there if I was you, and I wasn't about to argue. I just walked away from I wasn't, you. I wasn't angry. I'm still not angry with you. I was just very, very upset that it had turned out this way. Some people can do these things. Some people can't. Well, I don't think it's a holiday place. It is our holiday. We don't do anything else. It's our holiday to go away from it all and to just lay by the beach because we're going to go back to a hectic life again. Yeah, lying on that beach, smashing. But I get much, much more from going and seeing those kids in Adamasa than I could ever get lying on a beach. I saw enough to know what was happening there. And it probably makes me feel selfish but I can't run the world, you know, I can help, but I cannot do what you do. For both families, the holiday is over, and they board the church bus together for the last time. I can't wait to go back home. She was the nearest I come to smoking again. <laughs> Get me to the airport. When I grew up and fell in love First thing I do when I get home is we'll have a nice hot bath and then go straight down to McDonald's and get a nice double cheeseburger. Well, it's totally changed me because you realise what you've got and what people haven't got. And it was nice to be waited on and looked after for a couple of days. But that that's it. Um, it's reinforced the fact that this is what I want to do. If I could be like Rosemary, I would love to be, but we're made different. But I'm glad I came and I'm glad I've seen it. Um, and yeah, I would like to help. I most definitely will not be visiting Cancun ever again in my whole entire life, no matter how much anyone pays me. I'd like to say to, to Kelly and Dave and Jill and Dave and Lisa, that I'm very glad that, that I met you and that we shared the experience together, the good bits and the bad bits. Have we learned anything? Well, not really, because I think you, everybody always, already knows what it is like out there to see it firsthand. You don't realise what it's like until you actually see it though. Yeah, you don't, but you, you haven't really, I mean, you didn't know what it was like, I think, before you go there, but you, you don't know the extent until you get there, so I guess we've learned that. So I'm very sorry that we put you through something that you found so very difficult, that we weren't able in the short time to prepare you more for what you were likely to see. Yeah, I've decided to sponsor a little kid, uh, you know, little Kevin. I'd like to, uh, you know, just know how he's going and that. Uh, and I've been in contact with a local paper. Uh, they're going to put an article in the paper uh, to try and get together as many football boots and uh, any kind of kit together to send out there to them.